Welcome back everyone. Today we're in the Giants Editor and I'm Jewel and as you can see we're on the 10.0.4 version of the uh, Giants Editor for Farming Simulator 25 and today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to export and import into the map an object or whatever you're looking at in the game. So well, let's go ahead and get started. Appreciate everybody. Thank you so much for watching and staying tuned. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open up the one that you want to work on which I'm already in and then go to the main game because in this case we're going to take something from the main game but if you're taking something from somebody else's map you need to you're going to have to follow a little different step depending on what the object is but if it's it's typically best to go from the main game and then you don't have to worry too much about too many issues because the main game has all the textures and files and you, if you don't get all that information from the person's map you're taking it from then you may not have all the picture, it may turn up white, you know, all the textures. So we'll go to D, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Farmship 25, double clicking all these data, double clicking, Maps, Maps US, go to Maps US here, the I3D, and then click OK. I already have it open, I'm already on the 10.0.4, but you pick which one you're working on according to what map you're doing. And if you're on like FS22, then you got to do the other one, so to speak, down and then so on for so forth, all the way down to whatever you're working on. All right, cancel because I've already have it open. We're going to minimize this, and I'm going to come to here, and I'm just going to turn around because I picked this canoe to do. It's just something simple and pretty, and you're just going to click on whatever you want. And make sure it's not something that needs XML work because we're not doing that on this video, but we will, but not on this one. And then you're going to click on what you want. This don't need no XML. So then you're going to click File, Export Selection with Files. You're going to come and make go to the folder you want to put it in, Documents. In my case, My Games, Farm Sim 25, Mods. This is the map I'm working on. So you need to go put it in there. Go to Map US, make a folder. Call it canoe if you want, whatever you want to call it. Call it canoes if you want, if you're going to put more than one. And then double click on it, open it up, then title this canoe because it's one canoe. You could even put put canoe one or whatever you want to do. Typically just put canoe because that's what it is. Hit save. Then in this case, we're going to hit yes and yes. But it to save time, if you're going to get something from another map, and you don't have all those texture files, then hit no here on the second part, and it'll bring them in. Okay, so in this case, the first one we'll do yes, and the next one we're going to do no. Okay, so we did yes and yes this first time. That's because we got it from the main game, so we're not worried about that. We don't want the textures because we know where they are. They're in the Giants' main system, and we know they're there, and we know they'll call that information, and we're not worried about it, right? So now we're going to go back in here, and then we're going to hit File, Import. Then you're going to click on the canoe, because it puts it right up to where you were. If you just now export it, it brings you right to the canoe. So that's nice. But if it don't, just go back through. Documents, My Games, Farms 25, you know, Mods, the name of your map, Maps, Maps US, then you're back to wherever. Or put it in canoe folder, then, then go to canoe, wherever you put it wherever you you put yours click on it hit open it comes in it's highlighted you don't got to click on it it's already highlighted hit control b as in boy left mouse click left mouse click and now how you have your canoe and you can see it's pretty has all the stuff and if you was to go in game it'd be there and it because it's got the textures from the main game now if you had gotten this from somebody else's map and you didn't get the textures you go in game you're not going to have it. it's probably going to be white or gray or something so now that's that one from the main game then you would just hit save and if you'll go look in your folder wherever we were let's try to get back up there to it go look in the folder my games farm sim 25 mods the map go all the way through go to canoes you can see it's got the i3d and the the uh shape file Okay, now later when you're finished up, you sh most of these you'll be able to delete. So I'm not going to speak on that fully yet, but most of these you're going to need to delete because you don't want to go, you know, 
file size. But if it's something from somebody else's map, you're going to need it. You're going to need to leave it because you're going that because somebody else ain't going to have it, and it's not going to be called from the main game. But the things you can delete are the things that are path to the main game to call that from there. And the i3D is going to have some of the information in it right here. If you was to hit edit with notepad plus plus, you would be able to see that some things are going to be in there. So here's your thing. And if you, you're going to notice, we're going to do a different one. And we're going to put it in another folder. And when we do, we're going to click no the second time on, on the export that we're doing. And you're going to see it pop the textures in there. And it's probably going to put some textures other places as well. But it's, it's at least going to put the main textures to the canoe here. And those you can change. You don't want to change the ones in the main game, but those that come when you do this next step, you could change. So we're going to go ahead and do that, minimize. But before we do that, let me try one more option to show you how another way of getting something in there. Say you didn't want to do the import way where I ha had went and clicked import, and you didn't want to do that, and you were lazy or whatever. I, I don't really think it's lazy, but whatever. You can come click on the object in your folder and to just drag it out, let go, and it'll go in there. And you can see it here. And it highlighted, and you hit Control b left mouse click, left mouse click, and you can see it's in here. So that's another way of doing it on the import. Uh, now we're going to go back to the main game, and I guess we'll just do the canoe since we're here, just to save time. I don't want the video too long. We're already highlighted. We're going to click File, Export Selection with Files. And we're not going to put it in there. We're going to name a whole new folder. And we're just going to call this folder uh, canoe777 just to distinguish it. And double click that one. Call this canoe. Uh, we could just call it canoe2, whatever, or 3. It doesn't really matter. Hit save. Now we're going to hit yes on the first one and no on the second one so that we get the textures. So now when we go, we'll go look in that file again, get out of here, go to the canoe 77, and look, we have the textures, the prop thing right there. We got all that. So that, if you will if you click on it, right click, and open with paint.net, you'll see there's that's what it is. That's the texture that makes that look like, don't it look silly, but yeah, it's the canoe. It's just how they wrap it up. Uh, or un or unwrap it rather. <laughs> they unwrap it so that it's laid out onto this, so it can be a texture, and so that it knows when it sees this, to it wraps it on up around the canoe. So there you go. So that's how that works. This is the other two pieces with it. Uh, you're not necessarily going. You'd mostly be changing that. You ain't hardly going to be changing that. Um, in this case. You don't have to change any of it, though. You can leave it, like I said. But it, but but if you were on somebody else's map, you would need these in your map. And it would have to, be, if it was XML, it would need to call all this stuff so it can read anything it needed. Whatever, whatever it needed to call, it needs to call it. But in this case, you have the Canoe 3. And again, you if you want to um, drop it in, you could just drop it in. Let's go back to it. Click back on that real quick and you could just grab this one now the third one or the three one and just let let it go in there and it puts it in there and then you click over here control b left mouse click left mouse click and you can see it appeared as well but that's how you do it that's how you get the files that's the difference between those two methods i'm not doing xml on this particular episode i want to keep it short just exporting and importing but we will be doing more later more explanation into some of that uh, as we go along. But I appreciate everybody. I'm going to go ahead and call that an episode here. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Please hit that like button. Subscribe. Turn on your notification bell if you want to receive a notification every time I post a video. Goodbye everybody.